What's up guys, I'm Alphrix Media, and I bought map packs, and map packs are probably one of the worst investments of your life. Uh, I'm just kidding, I mean, I guess if you want to buy them, buy them. But I bought them, and this, <laughs> you know, it's funny, because this is going to be one of the best games i played all night. I was playing, either A, I was playing horribly, or B, I just, these maps are really that bad, because I started two games legit, um, like 0 and 8 and 1 and 9. Um, a couple of these maps using the same setup. So I don't really know what was going on tonight, and I used to get that guy there. I don't know what he was thinking. And this is actually, surprisingly, my favorite map of them all. And it's kind of odd because um, when I saw the previews for this map and heard them talking about how it was going to be the, be uh, the biggest of them all, I was like, oh man, that's not what I want. But it actually seems really broken up. It's like broken up into uh, a couple pieces, which it plays plays pretty well, I think. Um, at first, my party doesn't like it. You're going to see them go nuts on the game chatter. At first, they don't really like it, but they uh, start to grow fonder of it, I guess. More fond is the word I'm looking for, or the phrase. More fond of this map as it goes on. And, you know, <laughs> I've never really been a fan of map packs. I don't know what it is. It just always feels like these maps are completely different than um, than what you're used to in the game, so it's a lot, a lot harder to adjust. And I do want to point one thing out. You may be wondering how many times I've played this map. Well, the answer would be one. Uh, this is my first time playing this map, this gameplay right here. So uh, this show you, will kind of show you guys how I approached this map um, from the get-go. I hadn't even walked through it in like theater mode or anything like that. So uh, this is my f first legit time playing on it, so I was still learning the ropes. So it'll kind of help you guys out when, uh, whenever you finally pick it up or play it for the first time. And you can kind of see, um, kind of see what... Um, I did to break this map down, and it'll, it'll probably give you a better look at it, to be honest, because um, I didn't know it, so I was running around in stupid places. I don't, I don't know how this guy got, got me. I was so mad when it happened. It was like his steady aim reticle was barely on me, and yet somehow a stray bullet hits me. Uh, you see me knife the air in frustration because I haven't started, I hadn't been playing well on these stupid maps. Um, Hangar 18 is a map that I just absolutely despise right now. I mean, I tried it out, and I've played that one a handful of times now. I don't like it. It's not a good map. Um, the drive-in, the one time that we finally got drive-in, I absolutely hated that map. It was horrible. Um, it was probably the worst. It, that was, it was like stadium for a spawns go. It was just it was just absolutely dreadful. I I cannot endorse driving at this point. It's a very frustrating map to say the least. So um, there's what we have is Hangar 18 is a really, really, really frustrating map. Um, and then you have drive in which is a frustrating map. So we're looking at two maps out of this map pack that are frustrating, which isn't a good thing to start with. But I want to point out is don't take my opinion too seriously. A map I hate you might love so you really need to make like your own choices on something like that. Now I want to point out that I haven't played these enough to really learn them to, to know where all the choke points are going to be. So my opinion might change. You might hear me saying next week that I love um, that I love these maps. So we'll see. Um, right now I'm not really digging those two I just named. Now Silo and like, what's the other one? I haven't already forgotten. Silo and Hanger. Oh, the golf course one. That one's not too bad. I like that one. It is actually it's a remake or like an inspired by a map of Cliffside. I loved Cliffside. It was probably one of my favorite maps um, in World at War. That and Castle. So I really enjoyed the golf course one. It's a lot of fun, um, especially when uh, especially on like when the, you're playing domination because that that B flag is kind of uh, tr tricky to get. So I think it'll be a lot of fun to snipe on too. I was actually thinking of doing a silent sniper. Um, set up on that map and just trying it out, kind of doing like a silent sniper. Maybe I could do a silent sniper mini series. That might be kind of entertaining because there's no gun in this game that's worse than the silent snipers because it's only a one shot to the head. So, uh, wow, the the silent L96 would actually be kind of challenging. That would be that would be interesting to watch how watch me struggle with that. But um, <laughs> enough about silent snipers. Back to the map pack, please. But uh, the map pack is, I mean, it's a map pack. It's it's every bit as frustrating as all the other ones we've gotten. Um, I know I'm going to be giving <laughs> one of my friends decided not to buy, buy it. I know I'm giving him redemption by what I'm saying right here, but the map pack was just... So far I'm just underwhelmed with that. I haven't got a chance to play zombies. I plan on doing some stuff with that eventually. I mean, I'm just so busy with work that I have a hard time um, doing all the things I want to do. 
And that's kind of frustrating, especially with all this new map pack stuff. And I thought that was a guy. I, mean, I don't know about you guys, but that looks like a guy. <laughs> in Black Ops, I always have a hard time picking people out, especially on new maps, so I don't really know. Like, I jerk around a corner, and then all of a sudden it'll be, uh, be a dude just sitting there. I'm so, like, corner cautious these days. Like, I got corner killed so many times in those games I was talking about where I went 1-9 and nine and 0-8. Oh but I, a team actually legit got me to quit a game out of rage. I... I don't do that very often, but this team legit beat me. Like, they were just beating us. I just... I mean, they were all using Ghost and, like, just camping, but they were legit beating us, I have to admit that. And uh, they're part of the reason why I absolutely hate the map drive-in right now. <laughs> I, I just have no interest in playing that. I, <laughs> I think I'll probably end up giving it a couple more shots. Because, I mean, I hated um, Zoo at first, and Zoo actually turned out to be one of my favorite maps out of that last one. In fact, I really enjoy Zoo. Like... That's one of my favorite map pack maps I think I've, we've had out of Call of Duty in a while. I don't know about you guys, I mean, I think it plays very well in Domination and there's a lot of variety to it and that's what I look for in a map. That's kind of why I like this map. I feel like it's big but at the same time there's enough variety to where you're going to stay entertained. Um, you won't get bored of the map at the way it looks but it also doesn't play retardedly like, um, excuse my political incorrectness. Um, it doesn't play like perhaps, um, what's that map? Oh. Carnival, because I know you guys all hate Carnival. I mean, I hate... Carnival is a cool-looking map, but it ended up being a um, pretty pretty sucky map in, in the great scheme of things. But you see these people just dropping, like, flies in this game. And then the giant magnet up there. There's a lot of cool things to look at in this map. Like, even me watching this back, because like I said, this was the first time I had ever played it. So I haven't... I'm watching this back for the first time, and it actually turned out to be a pretty good gameplay. Uh, when I was playing it, I was, I, I don't know, I was in, I thought it was turned into a good gameplay, so I was, right off the bat I was like, oh, I'm going to save this one, because um, I think it's kind of interesting to see the way someone plays a map for the first time. You can kind of see how I, uh, I guess you would say, approach the situation. Like, I tried to sector myself off, because I look at this map as in like five or six sectors. You got the back part, and you got the tubes, and you got over to the right where the construction is. There's just a lot of variety in this map, and I like that. There's a lot of close range, but then there's a lot of long lines of sight. I think that'll um, be pretty important uh, on keeping a lot of map control on this one, because um, map control is the key in domination. But I will be trying to do some of these in TDM, because I know a lot of people prefer to see some TDM gameplay. Um, and I don't blame them. I mean, I don't, I don't play TDM mainly because of Ghost. Um, Ghost is a huge problem to me, and it ruins TDM for me. Um, I like to play fast-paced these days. Um, I actually like to use submachine guns. I like to be in your face as of late. I don't really enjoy sitting back and playing defensive like I normally would. Like I used to be a really defensive player, and I kind of um, evolved my play style to be a more, I guess you would say, more exciting, so more of an aggressive defensive type player. But anyways, this is a, just my first take on the map, a little look for you guys can you kind of check out and see what it's like. And I think I ended up going, oh, I think I went, went 35 and 1 in this one, but I thought, like I said, I thought it was a cool thing to show you guys my literally my first game ever on this map. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I plan on doing a class act for this, for the map, so I'm going to do something a little different with it. I'm going to pick uh, a class act. And I'm going to do it on one map and show a bunch of classes um, for each map. So if you'd like to see a gun, request it now. Out of time. Bye.